In this video, I'll be talking to you about what goats eat. And a lot of new goat owners think they just eat grain and hay. And that's not the only thing that should be in their diet. And not every goat needs grain, so let's talk about it. So I'm going to start off with goat minerals because this is left out way too much. Goat minerals is essential for your goat's diet, but what is goat minerals? This is their minerals. It will look like sand like this. And um, I'm not really just talk about why it's so important for your goat. So in the wild, goats will get minerals from foraging. But even if you have your goats forage, they're not going to get all the minerals they need because in the wild, they move around. When you have goats at home, they're, you know, they're just on your property. Even if you got a lot of acres and you're moving around them a lot, there's not, there's going to be a lot of minerals missing there. So they still do require, like they have to have minerals or they'll get deficiency and lose a lot of hair and uh, a lot of stuff can happen. Like they might not go and eat, they can abort their kids and just have a lot of issues going on with it. So goats will eat as much minerals as they need. So you do want to leave your minerals free choice. You do not want to force it on them. You do not want to add it to their grain or make them eat it. If your goat is deficiency in a certain mineral, you got to find out that mineral and treat them with that specific one because you cannot, they'll get toxic if they have something that they don't need. So, so if you think your goat is deficiency in a mineral, Check their signs and see what mineral it might be. See what your area is deficiency of. Uh, you know, they could be deficiency from the soil in your area or it could be your forage. You do never want to buy. Now, if it's your only option, you can. But you don't want to buy on uh, like track supply or like run ins, you know, big companies like that because they will have minerals. Every state, they'll usually sell the same brand. So, if that's your only option, and you don't got other farm stores, go for that. And while you're trying to find something else, like you can buy online or something. But in the meantime, just give it to them. It's better than nothing. But for me, I buy it at a local feed store because, like, smaller companies, smaller feed stores will just have it in your area so they sell the correct minerals for your area so i i have a feed store nearby that's literally just in new england so i it's good minerals uh it has the good mix in it and I'll, even when you go to have minerals they can get deficiency of something um i have experienced for my area vitamin b and selenium deficiency is two things I have experienced. I've experienced copper one time, but that was years ago, uh, like two years ago, I think. After I treated it, it has never came back and it's all good, so. So this is the minerals I get called Sweet Licks Meat Maker Goat Supplement. It isn't, it's for dairy goats too. It's really for any goats. It's not meat goats, just called that, but you can get this online. I. I think there is like a Sweet Licks website or something. You can search that up and um, you should be able to get this. But it's just, this is just for my area. Your area might be different and you might want a different mineral, but this works well um, for where I live. I believe you can like call the state and ask what uh, minerals your area is deficiency of. And then you can, whatever it is, get something that has higher in it. Um, it does say in the back like how much percentage copper how much you know all zinc all these minerals in it now hey obviously goats require hay to survive like it's the most necessary thing for any livestock is required hay so for getting hay i recommend getting second cut hay first cut hay is just a lot harder to digest for goats but like i mean it is better than nothing, but it's super hard uh, to digest, and it, I mean, it's just not as healthy. Third cut hay is also an option, but it usually does cost a little bit more. So before you get your goats, I recommend find this uh, hay dealer or somewhere where you can get a lot of hay instead of like 
getting a small amount because it's like a lot of goat people will just, you know, get like eight bills at a time and then they'll have to find someone new, but getting eight is at a time is okay, but if you have to keep finding new places to get hay, it's just can be difficult. <laughs> If you can find somewhere, maybe get like 20 bills, uh, 30, you know, depending on how many goats you have. You got a lot, you might want like 100 or so. So, just somewhere you can get hay or somewhere that you can keep coming back to because it's like, it's literally required and goats, you know, can't like just survive without it. So, you do want to get hay and I don't recommend going to feed stores for that because it's super expensive, uh, you know, I have this one feed store is like $13 a deal, so it's super expensive, also not as healthy, and it's usually first cut, which is also not as healthy. I had, uh, I had a, got hay there before, and it was actually moldy, so finding somewhere with healthy cut hay, uh, second cut is ideal. The best time to get it would be like midsummer after after uh the hay dealers have done their second cut. That is the best time to get it. Uh you can also cut your own grass if you have the grass, the property, the equipment, you can do that. But uh I don't have that option here, but if you find someone where you can get second cut best time is end of summer before fall um, and then you do want to stock up for the winter because finding hay in the winter is expensive. <laughs> uh, first cut hay is like thick and harder and it's more for like cows and larger. Also when you get your goats, if your go the goats you get are being free choice fed, then I recommend continue to free choice hay them because if you give them, like, you know, just enough a day, and you're not, don't give them free choice hay, what can happen is they will just eat extra and get bloated. And if they're a little bit bloated on hay, it's okay. And the winter is actually a good thing, keeps them warm. But if they're getting bloated a little bit, actually they're eating more hay than they actually need. And if it's, as long as it's not like too, like super, it's, it's not too much bloated. If it's just like a little bit full, it's fine. But then they're eating so much more, hay, like too much hay that they need. And that's just wasted money. So I recommend free choice feeding them. It's cheaper in the long run, as crazy as that sounds. But it is. And yeah, I mean, they do like to waste hay. No doubt about that. And if you do also want to give your goat CD and T vaccines, if you get goats that have had it, ask when they had it last, so you know when the follow-up is, they have it a year. Uh, as kids, they'll have it, I think it was like eight weeks, and then again at 12 weeks, and then they'll have it once a year after that. And that helps um, them also not to bloat themselves, so that will help cut down your feed costs by vaccinating them. <laughs> also helps with tetanus, but... Also, pregnant goats do eat a bit more, so you might have to give them more hay. And milking goats also eat more because they need that extra, extra food to help them stay healthy. You don't want to give your goats hay on the ground because that can cause parasites, so make sure it's in a hay feed. You can also um, have your goats forage in the summertime, eat up grass and like all this like stuff you have, but if you do that, you do need to be careful of parasites. At the end of summer, I usually will send in my goat stool sample, make sure they're not getting any parasites or anything. Because that is like a huge issue a lot of goat owners will have in the summertime, even without foraging. So when, when they eat, they'll pick up a bug and cause worms and all this crazy stuff. So, you don't want that, but if you're just going to want to forage your goats, you know, just to clear stuff up a bit, 
but you don't, uh, you know, you don't care about, like, them eating that bully and it, you know, you don't have enough property or whatever, then the best time to do that is at when it's super sunny. You do want to make sure you go to have shelter because they can overheat, but when it's sunny out, that kill will kill all the parasites. So when the sun comes out, then I'll have them come out a couple hours later. But you do want um, to be careful because you want to fence your goats in when doing that because then they'll try to start escaping your fence to get out because if you just left them out and do that. And that causes a big problem in the winter. It's also recommended to put them on a parasite prevention in the summertime. And also a lot of new goat owners, people think that goats are, will graze and eat all your grass and all this stuff, but actually sheep are very good grazers, but goats will only eat the good stuff and leave the extra there. So they won't like eat everything. They will eat stuff, but not like everything. And they like to go up high rather than down low. So if you got uh, like bushes and stuff, they'd rather eat that then the grass on the ground and they'll also eat your garden and your apple trees and all the stuff you might have so make sure that's all fenced in. So let's get into grain. Do goats need grain? What goats need grain and how much grain? Goats like to get into everything especially grain so make sure it's closed tight because if they eat too much grain they can blow up their self and actually kill themselves so i have it here in a feed room all in containers i keep this shot just in case the goats happen to get in the feed room but just be careful so the only time i'll give my goats grain is if they're growing pregnant milking or if they're underweight for growing kids, I only give a little bit, just, you know, a couple handfuls every day because this helps them, helps them, um, grow strong and stuff. Some people don't give their kids grain, but it's, you know, it's a choice you can have, but I choose to, and it helps them grow better, I believe. And a lot of people say, oh, you can't give it to meal goats because it can cause your new calculi, but I give something. So I give my male goats some of this once a month, and that helps prevent it, and uh, yeah. I just sprinkle it on their grain once a month for three to five days. Given meal kids, I've given weathers, I've given adult box at grain, and they've never got urine calculi, but there's people that have not. Uh, prevented it and they have got it. They also say apple cider vinegar helps prevent it, giving it to them like once a week, but a lot of people say it's a myth, so who knows. If you just have pets and your goats are done growing, they're not pregnant, they're not milking, they're not underweight, then they don't need grain. All they need is just minerals and hay. But it is a nice treat if you do want to give it to them as a treat. Or if you want, if you like to like train your goats or s stuff, you know, um, that might sound crazy to you, but I taught my goat to give me her hoof, uh, years ago, but she passed. But anyways, that, you can use grain to teach them tricks. For grown and meal, meal goats or weathers, I don't give them any grain unless they're underweight. It's the only time you want it. And if you're giving it to them because underweight you give them a very small amount my like it's probably like 80 pound buck i can't say for sure how much he weighed but he's probably about that and i only gave him uh i think it was a fourth a cup grain and a fourth cup alfalfa pellet twice a day until he gained weight and that's all i gave him now for pregnant goats i'll give them grain like the last month of pregnancy just um to kind of get them used to grain because once they go in milk you don't want them to all suddenly introduce grain because it can make them sick so i just kind of gradually introduce it um, a little bit at a time to get them used to eating it again milk and goats do in fact require grain because 
if you don't, they'll dry up, get super skinny, underweight, and all this nasty stuff. So you want to make sure they have grain. So let me show you why I give my milk and goat. Now some people will give them alfalfa hay instead of uh, whatever hay you have where you are. Here in New England, alfalfa hay is crazy expensive. Anywhere it is expensive, but around here especially because alfalfa hay needs like all year to grow. So out in like California, it might be a little bit cheaper, more available, but here, yeah. <laughs> is here I have grain. And you don't want to just get your goats any grain. This grain is Pacific for for lactic goats, um, whatever. I got them blue seal brands. You can actually buy that on Chewy.com, but find your local feed store what they got. I don't recommend buying from Track Supply. It's not as healthy, and I have had experience where it's been moldy. I haven't lost any goats from it or anything, but it's just not recommended. It's not as healthy and everything, and that's a big, big stores, and so, yeah, it's great. But if you find somewhere, like a small feed store near you, then see what grains they have. They'll usually have it Pacific for what you need it. So if you got kids getting grower, kid grower grain, um, and then for adult goats, whatever, uh, underweight, you know, adult goats, this is for milk and goats, Pacific for milk and goats, and so this works. Um, you do never want to give your goats corn. Is some goat owners think it's good for them, and it's like so cheap, so people will get it, but don't give them corn. That makes them fat, and it's super bad for male goats. Uh, that's real caused during a calculator really easy, so don't give your goats corn. I don't know, like, I don't got meat goats, but people, meat goat owners might give it to them, but not anywhere near dairy or pets. Here I have alfalfa pellets. Any for feed store should sell that. It's this is what it looks like green. Um, you know, this like some people will give their goats alfalfa hay, and that works. So if you give your goats alfalfa hay, they don't need alfalfa pellets. But for both cows and goats. It helps to upper their milk production, keep their milk production up, and it won't go down, help it not go down as much. And um, goats will naturally go down when they're later in their, later in their lactation, but it will just get them. Some goat owners don't give them alfalfa pellets, and they, like, they'll have high production. And I guess it really depends on the Pacific goat. Some goats need it more, other goats not as much. Um, I noticed that my goat Carmel does need it. Like, I stopped giving her, her kind of testing if I could just give her grain. And her milk production went down. But then my other goat, Bear, the farm I got her from, don't they don't give them alfalfa pellets. And their production seems fine. But it really just depends on your the goat specifically I guess but I do recommend giving it to them it also helps um maintain their weight more protein and um if you got goats overweight then I mean you can try taking it out see if that affects their production but if you got goats underweight I highly recommend keeping that um in their diet when they're in milk when you're giving your goats grain never introduce it too fast you got to slowly do this so that they don't get um their stool and stuff will just go all over the place crazy so i give two cups of grain two cups of alfalfa pellets on the stand up and there i usually milk twice a day caramel i'm only milking once a day right now but bear milk twice a day but it really depends on your goat like smaller goats like uh a full night in your door for American Pika might need lots. I think my sister that has Nigerian dwarfs, I believe she gives at one cup of each, but I could be wrong. But I do two cups each. <laughs> in the summertime, since I don't really like let my goats out so they don't learn to like escape unless I have um I have set up like electric netting and a leech field we have, but if you want to give them 
stuff, but you don't want to really let them out. To cut down the feed costs, you can cut down, like, bra tree branches. And so in the summertime, I'll usually cut a few of those down each day and throw them in the fence. And they love that. Also, you can collect leaves in the fall and give it to them in the winter. You can also use it as bedding, but they love that as a nice little winter snack. a few things that is a good idea to consider adding to your goat's diet but isn't necessary now these three things i'm going to mention you do not want to give to male goats because it's a very high chance of hearing a cow fly a very small portion of it um now and then won't really hurt but giving this to them daily is not a good idea for male goats or um, whether they're intact or whether they're uh, weather. So one of the things is sunflower seeds. A lot, if you see the word, if you're in a goat group or something like that, and someone says boss, that actually stands for sunflower seeds. I don't know why they use, say boss as it, but that's, that's um, another big phrase they use for sunflower seeds when referring to animal food. A lot of people will give sunflower seeds to their milking goats. So when your goats are in milk, now it's not like a requirement. You know, you don't need that. Milking goats do need grain, but sunflower seeds actually isn't something they need, but it's a choice of yours. And they don't need a whole lot of it, just like a handful on the milking stand um, every day. And that helps with their coat and helps them keep looking healthy it's a good source of protein some people will throw some sunflower seeds down in like a pasture and then once the sunflowers have grown they'll take their goats to the pasture or once it's like you know tall enough for them to eat they'll take them to the pasture and let other goats to eat them um i have tried that and we have a lot of squirrels around here so the squirrels ate took all the sunflower seeds but i have grown sunflower plants for them and I gave them the sunflowers and man they loved those so you can do that. Next off is calf manna. So it, this is often used like if your goat's coat looks like rugged um springtime when your goats are starting to lose hair they can look uh not so great so that is a good idea to add to their diet but if, if your goats is also had gotten like lights, then their hair will be like not looking so great. So after you've taken care of the lights, you can also give that to them. Um, some people will do it, uh, give some to goats before they breed them. You know, kind of just making sure they're healthy, giving that, adding that extra nutrition to their body. But uh, you can give it to milking goats, non-milking goats, just not recommended for male goats I and mean, can be given just very very small amount also you don't want to do a, like a whole lot um i i gave you that to my goat i gave her like a fourth a cup a day it really depends on the goat um and how bad their hair is or whatever you're giving reason you're giving it to them for um, now for the third thing is beet pulp this is um something given to your goat often if you know, there's different reasons for it, but the, it's for, like, if your goat is underweight and they need to get that weight up, um, maybe they're recovering from a parasite or whatever reason they're underweight, that can help them to gain weight. Again, you don't want a whole lot of it. It can cause bloat if given too much, but um, a couple years ago, Colonel, let's go here, she kind of had, she got a parasite. She kind of was lost a lot of weight a lot of hair from it so i gave her calf mani and beet pulp both of those i gave a fourth a cup twice a day um along with her grain and alfalfa pellets so if you're going to underweight the only, if you just give them beet pulp that's not you know not going to do a whole lot but adding grain alfalfa and beet pulp to their diet will help them get that get that weight up if you have any questions at all, be sure to comment them below and um, 
I'll get that to you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful.